In this video I'm going to share with you in a basic steps how to wire your auxiliary LED light on your ATV quarter side by side. It's pretty simple. Let's get started. If you first time to the channel, please subscribe. Very appreciated that. Okay, let's get straight to the wiring diagram. Okay, there's a DC current circuit and electricity flows from positive back to the negative. Here's the battery and as you can see we have a load side of the relay and a control from the positive battery terminal. Wire is coming to the 20 amp fuse then it's going to the pin number 30 of the relay which is the load side of the relay you, you can see those thicker pins and pin 87 is our output and it's going to the, our light bar and light bar is getting ground from the chassis or you can take ground from the battery and uh, our control side power of the battery through the fuse to the switch I decided to go with the rocker switch and power is coming to the switch going to accessory our component what we're using over here to the 85 and 86 is our relay ground when you switch the switch to the on position it really energizes and bridges the contacts and we have our light turned on it's pretty simple and uh, let's go and check how everything was organized and what components do we need we need a LED light bar rocker switch I like this one it has an indicator light and it's on and off 20 amp relay two fuse links or you can put a fuse inside and of course we need a wire I'm using a 14 gauge on the load side and a 16 on the control side not all we need a bunch of heat shrink crimp connectors like this here's a relay and how it looks in place okay we have two thicker wires as our load side and this wire is going down to the battery positive terminal through the fuse and another end is going to our light okay and we have two control wires this one is really a ground going to the ground and this one is coming up to the switch As you can see here, this black turns into the brown, and this yellow wire is going straight to the battery through the fuse to power our switch. Power is coming here, turn to the relay. We have a ground here, and our switch has an indication now. Okay, let's go and here. You can see better. Yellow wire is coming from the positive battery terminal there's a fuse it's black because it's fusible holder link is black wire and then it starts getting yellow it's yellow and yellow is a power supply to our rocker switch and from the rocker switch you can see this brown one is coming here let's go up and brown is coming to our relay as you can see here right because we have power to the switch when they turn the switch on power comes to the relay control side as a ground here on the control side and energizes the coil coil energized it bridges the contacts between 30 and 87 battery and our light bar this one's closed bridges the contacts and our lights will turn on 
pretty simple, pretty easy. Nothing's complicated. There's a couple simple <laughs> wiring diagram without using a relay. Okay, talking about what fuse to use, it depends from how much current your accessory, your light bar, whatever you try to power draws. I just put it 5 to 20. You can measure it with a amp clamp. And there's a formula how to calculate current rating. Actual current divided by 0 0.75. Yeah. Yeah, if this video is helpful, informational, please put a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We appreciate that.